both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Slides it diagonally to Hughes. Handles the puck. Locked him in the open ice. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that. He scores! incredible balance and power here, James, and this is just another primetime example of it as he's getting jostled and pushed. I and mean, if I'm defending him, I'm going to defend with my feet now. Just stay in front of him because you ain't moving him. You're not going to shove him off the puck, but he doesn't shoot it. He's looking, he's scanning, and he makes a beautiful pass that results in a goal. Vancouver's early lead in this one, a direct result, Cheryl, of moving their feet. They're moving their feet and they're moving the puck, and this gives them a little bit of a cushion to play free, and you get your entire bench into the game early. You show good habits, and you get rewarded for it. And now he moves it to Kadri. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. He might have a step here. He scores!
The Flames win the faceoff at center. Huberdeau's got it in the offensive zone. Here's the chance to the middle. Another pass. And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Taken along the wall by Garland. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Feeds it over. Denies it in front. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Canucks now lead by three. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he takes the dish. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Sends it in on the attack. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Dayarnay's taking the puck behind his net. Vancouver's having a ton of fun out there. You can sense the urgency and the energy and a lot of fun when you put numbers up on the board. Sends it across the ice. Quick pass to Paul. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Canucks, it's in the back of the net for an own goal. Vancouver's open things up here at the first as a result of their offense tonight. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Moves it to Suter. Rocks him on the play. The Flames have it now. Picked off. Trying to be too cute on the pass. Vancouver's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Puts it on net. Shuts the door with a great save and reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Feeds it over to Miramanov. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Drills him. Dished on over to Lombard. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Takes the feed. They've got numbers here. Grabs possession of the puck. Puck picked up by Miller. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. Keeps possession. Moves inside. Score! defensive zone turnover. Now everyone's caught out of position trying to cover, except for the shooter, of course, who has all the time in the world to put it top ends. Vancouver's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Paul. Vancouver's got the puck. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Paul. Quick feed to Huberto. Good defensive stop as a poke check. Handles the pass. Locked him in the open ice. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Big time stop. Wolf's aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Now a quick pass to Holtlander. Good read with the stick to break that up. Uses the force on that hit. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Centering pass! Sends it into the offensive zone. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Here's a short pass to Hoaglander. Skates 
across the blue line. Serving pass, and that's stopped. And he had the answer on that play. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Hironic. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Vancouver's looking to take this lead into the intermission here as they've put a lot of pucks on net so far. Miller's won the draw at center. Vancouver's got the puck at the defensive end. And he feeds it down to Miller. Takes the pass from the left wing. And they'll go the other way with it. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Now's your chance to play quickly. Draw your plastic guns, bottles, and take it for Opening face-off here the second period is about set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? He scores! There's the hat-trick in Lenny Chapeau! Yeah, Lenny Chapeau is right there. That's all over the ice. They're going to have to collect them all. Uh, this is going to take some time, but man, has he ever had an effective night? He had two, and he was thinking three all the way. Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Vancouver's had as yet another to extend this lead, and they are just flying tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down, so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. Couldn't catch up to that pass. From the right side and up the middle. Close it to the middle. with the stick along the right side into the offensive zone the Flames gain possession quick feed to Anderson great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end Offense has come to play in a big way as they've dominated both the shots and goal category. The Canucks take possession off the faceoff. And he gets in the lane to block that. Slides it across. Quick pass to Mantha. Sends the pass over. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Demko. Demko's had a quiet night, James. He's been watching most of the game from the other end because of the offensive nature of his team tonight. But man, does he make a nice save there. And that's showing that he's emotionally engaged. He's staying prepared, even though he hasn't been busy. We're still in the early stages of this period. Vancouver's got a three-goal lead here. They're up 5-2. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. Slides the puck over to Garland. Tosses it on to Pedersen. Stops it cold. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The Canucks lead here in the second period, and they have been the more active team offensively. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Dishes it to Bede. Gains the zone through the middle. 
Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Dewar. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Oh, what a save in front! Sends one up to Bluger. The Canucks gain the zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Passes the puck over to Zeri. Calgary's on the attack. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose the defender there. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he takes the pass. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And that's broken up. Battling for it along the boards. Moves it to Uyghur. Quick pass to Rudy. Calgary's got the puck against the boards. And he stops that kid in there. Wow. Moves it quickly over to Pospisil. By Paul. Here's a short pass to Lombard. Hughes is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Here comes the call. The coach is simply wanting an explanation as to why his team keeps getting penalized. And just a reasonable explanation. That's all it takes. It's composed, though. I really like them working off the 1 3 1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. They're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Quick feed to Miramino. The Canucks gain control of the puck. Great use of the stick at center by Miramenov. And he takes the feed. Moves the puck to the attacking area. And it's a quick pass to Sari. Picked off by Sprong. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Backlund side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the face off. The Canucks win the draw here in their own end. Moves it over to Hoaglander. Quick pass to Besser. Calgary's penalty killers get a hold of it. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Canucks are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. A few ways to play a four-on-four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. uyghur has got the puck in his own zone. The Flames penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Moves it to Kuzmenko. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Myers has it in the defensive end. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Angles it over to Huberto. The Flames take it across the line. Passes it over. Big time save by Demko. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Bloomers recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Bluger's moving the puck through his own zone. Stones him in front. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. 
The Flames will go to work here in the offensive zone. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Backhander. Oh, there's one more. Vancouver's got him along the wall. Takes him up, but he's still got the puck. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Dishes it off. Oh, and he sucks. Scores. And I think he put this in on his own. Uh, he did, James. This is so deflating when you put it in on your own and you can just see the body language. He is not happy. The Flames desperately needed that. And Cheryl, I know I sound like Captain Obvious on that one. Well, two-goal deficit is certainly better than a three-goal deficit, James. I know I'm Captain Obvious as well there. But finding a way to get it done, there's a lot of time left in this game for them to claw their way back in. It just takes one to reset the sail. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Can't hang on after that hit. Takes the beat and makes no mistake about it. Well, and this is tougher than it looks, James. We see players working on it in practice all the time. This time, he executes perfectly and puts it in. Coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example. When the pass is crisp and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. Coach is smiling on the bench after that last goal, and it's all about the next steps right now. They're trailing by one now. They've got to figure out a way to get back in this game. But the momentum has certainly switched. That next shift, it's so important. Calgary's found some offense, and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second. And they changed the momentum. You can see it in the body language and the confidence. They've got themselves within striking distance of an even game. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Picked up along the boards by Anderson. Takes the puck at the point. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. And forces a huge turnover here with the steer. He's got a chance on a breakaway. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. Pushes it across to Garley. Calvary's got a hold of it along the wall. Tries to feed it over to Huberto. Fires it on net. Makes the save. And he slides it quickly to Romanov. There's another stop. With authority. And he denies him again. They've really got him on their heels here now. There's a save. On the outside to Kuzmenko. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Besser's got it in the corner. Pinned up along the boards. And that's kicked out from the scrum. Takes a bump but hangs on. Fans calling for a shot before it's too late. There's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. It has been an offensive fireworks display here tonight, and I would expect it to continue here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Flames don't need to change their game plan, James. I mean, they're trailing by one goal, but they found a way to own the puck through the majority of the game, and this is a good sign. Anytime you're holding the puck, now it's about being opportunistic and finding a way to get the net front presence and put one by the tender. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Vancouver's looking to break out. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. 
And now he moves it quickly to Zeri. The Flames take it along the wall. Puts it on net. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Big save. Demko's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under siege, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Can't reset the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Vancouver's taking possession in their own end. Gets it out of his own end. And that's picked off by Sherwood. Throws it in. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Bede. And he takes the feed. To the low slot! Fantastic save! Well, he makes an incredible save on a point playing shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Let's get the call. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Four-on-four, -four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Kuzmenko stick-handling in his own zone. The Canucks will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. The Flames have it against the wall. Oh, just a textbook hit. Moves it quickly over to Sharon Govich. Takes the pass. Sends a pass over. Calgary's got possession while undermanned. Poked away in the neutral zone by Hironic. Takes it at center. And that's knocked away by Paul. Here's a short pass to Miramanov. Poked away at center by Pedersen. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. And makes the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. The Flames take possession off the faceoff. Beams up and ready to get back on the ice. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. Although they're still trailing, this game is now within reach with that effective kill. That gives life to the entire bench. And it's kicked away. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. been the better team tonight in my opinion but still they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots puck grab by Weger works it across to Kuzmenko and now he tries to get it across to Kadri Vancouver's got the puck in their own end and another hit the human buzzsaw has in full effect on the ice tonight here Cheryl <laughs> If you're the opponent, man, your head's going to be on a swivel. You're going to be knowing when he's coming, and you may shy away from the puck. Coughs up possession of the puck. Receives the pass. Scrum ensues along the boards. Puck picked up in the open ice. Here he is, gaining steam. What a save on the play. Uh, it's a timely save, and it's going to generate a ton of momentum for his team here, but he's so composed, he's patient, and just steers the puck aside. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Vancouver's got a 5-4 lead here in what has been a thrilling display of offense. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Quick pass across to Bede. Slides the puck over. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Quick feed to Hoaglander. Quick shot! And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. 
Slides it diagonally to Rooney. Puck dumped in. Vancouver's got the puck. Feeds the puck to Besser. They go on the attack through center. Taken by Hironik. teammate who skates away. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. The Canucks win the defensive zone face-off. Moves it to Strong. And some good footwork to kick it away. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Calgary's across the blue line. Cadre's got it along the boards. Great read to break up the play. Looks to pass it to Heinen. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabbed along the boards by Heinen. Centering pass! And a new pass! Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Moves it quickly over to Kuzmenko. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Myers. Pucked away. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a shot. Tremendous stop by Demko. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Slides it across. Here he is in close. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Here's a short pass to Sari. Great heads up play with the stick by Hironik. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Moves the puck down low.
The Canucks continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Quick feed to Pospisil. Oh, one of his teammates is right in the shooting lane there. Moves the puck over to Besser. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. He's in, all alone! Oh, the eyes on the play! Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. He got all that hit. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post! The Flames have been dominated in this game and a little bit of a pushback here, trying to get something, something to muster up some confidence and night a spark, and that just goes off the post. That's extremely frustrating for the entire team. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Vancouver's won the draw. Oh, you might call that friendly fire.